Oh, you can't hear me. One second. Hi, children. I want to show other was letter. He wrote us a letter. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I replied. I went to the post office yesterday. Okay. See, I'll show you. Jainthi auntie showed you know what is an inland letter? What is a postcard? how to write and all she was telling no. So yesterday, one second, I went to the I went to the post office. See what I got. I got in this is card, postcards. Okay. And then I got inland letters, a few letters, four postcards and two inland letters. Both together, you know, how much was it? Only 20 rupees. So I bought that. And this is uh, Adit, uh, Adarwa's letter to me, which I am going to read first. I went to the post office. I bought a letter, I mean, uh, postcards. I wrote a reply to Adarwa. A reply will, I mean, that letter will come. Postcard will come in two, three days to you. Adarva, once you get that, read it and see what is there. Tamil Padipala, you know Tamil, no? Tamil Lada Idrika, I've written in Tamil. Okay, first, so thank you so much, Adarva, for writing this beautiful, beautiful letter to me. After a long time, I am receiving a letter. It feels so good. Okay, I'll read what he has written. Shall I read other one? Okay. okay. Hi, auntie. How are you? I feel so happy to write this letter to you, auntie. When will you come to Udumalpet? Whenever you come here to my come here to my house, I am writing for you. Write a letter back to me. He put a smiley and he made a flower and he put a signature Adarva. And behind you see, here he has, his mother, I think, has written the address very beautifully. See, love this letter. Okay, my reply will come to him. Okay, Jainthi auntie also, she's here. She will go back and she will buy postcard and she will write to you from Chennai. Okay, Adarva, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So here, Afisa. Hi, Afisa, is that? That little Afisa has grown up so much. So big you have become. How are you, Afisa? <laughs> so nice. I'm fine. You're fine. So nice to see you. Thank you, Auntie. Ah, nice to hear your voice too. Love you, children. Okay. Hi, Vian, Vian, Anusha, Afiza, Sriyari, Sri Vidya, Anusha, Adarva, everybody welcome. So, you know, today's story, once again, this Karniko will Raja Mama's Vittai Sayyum Natai. From that book only, I have taken the story. You, I don't know, you have seen the poster we have made for this. So, I'll show you that first, okay? So, from that, you tell me what you can see in the poster. Can you see the poster? Is it yes. Okay. The smart fish. The smart fish is the story. And like Adarva, uh, Srihari and Vian. There are also two little boys here. Lovely, friendly. 
friendly friendly friends are here and then there is a fish and what is this boy doing in black color can you see that fishing fishing yeah. fishing okay who loves eating fish i love pa me yes super we all love fish how do we catch fish um fish rod fishing rod fishing uh, net mm. fishing rod fishing net and all we use isn't it so let's see the nice is the poster nice yeah yeah okay it's so, nice. okay super thank you so this is from canva i did nice here the story is here i'll tell you now so this normally know the fish net we cast the net that mean the fishermen cast the net and they catch fish and nowadays you know how many of us are reading all this waste plastic bottles waste paper and a lot of waste we generate no do we carefully you you put it in different bins so that it can recycle and things how many of us are following after eating chips packet some people they just throw the packet on the road or when you are traveling by ship so many people eat and throw it or dump it in the sea in many places even cities and towns the municipal authorities do not do proper recycling what they do they just take all collect the lorry loads of the waste and go and dump it in the sea correct who is living in the sea what animals fishes dolphins whales octopuses mm. other animals yeah. yeah. yes sharks so many yes of course not only these animals if we do not have the ocean if there is no sea there is no rains the organisms started coming into the earth from water no first they lived in water and then the land on land animals insects started forming so no ocean no organisms no animals in sea earth will collapse we all die correct so now fishing is fine but the thing is eating fish is okay that is our food but you should not spoil their environment also no so here we are going to see the story about some two fish a few fish and a frog a very very smart frog which gave them the idea what to do let's see so one day there were two like you you people know there were adarva uh, vian shri hari shri vidya anusha fiza like that there were two friends madhi and arun madhi and arun were two good friends it was a holiday they are like they live in one street they are neighbors from childhood i mean when from the day they are born they are in the same street the parents are friends even these two boys madhi and arun are good friends so on a holiday so now who comes you know they come to meet so arun is telling what is this madhi always you keep on studying so much you have to know to go out and get some fresh breeze also so why don't we go out today and we'll do some activity he said arun said yeah i mean madhi said sounds good okay let's go where shall we go arun told let's go for fishing that is very interesting no i have my father has a fishing rod so we'll take that and go to the nearby pond you get plenty of fishes there so we'll just go catch and bring a one or two fish then we can have a nice holiday we can spend this today with nice lunch with yummy yummy mm, 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 fish fry we can eat so for the fishing rod simply you go and put the fishing rod inside the water 
can you catch the fish children i no, need a worm ah you need a worm why do you need a worm because the worm attract the fish to come to the the end yes. super sri hari so you have to attach a small like we love eating fish the fish love eating worms so you have to attach one end of the rod like the thread like thing you have to attach a worm so the fish will smell the worm and it will come to eat the worm when it comes to eat the worm there will be a hook like thing yeah have you seen a fishing rod there will be a hook like thing when the fish comes to eat that it will eat the it doesn't know no the fishing rod doesn't smell anything it's a rod okay it just goes and catches the worm nam 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 it eats but it gets caught in the hook and then you can pull it up so that is how and so now madhi and arun they are going in their garden they have a very nice garden like you many children have no garden so they have a nice garden so in the garden what kind of worms you can see the brown color long ones it starts with e earthworm ah superb adarva yes we didn't get that no earthworm so they said we'll go and get a few earthworms from the garden then we will go to the go to the pond and catch the fish and they collect some earthworms and they run to the pond they find a nice place to sit there and now they started putting the this rotating and they started putting the fishing rod ka thread into the water and they are waiting they are waiting will you get the fish immediately no sometimes you will get in 5 minutes sometimes in 50 minutes sometimes you have to yes no correct so sometimes you have to wait for 5 hours also fishing not only teaches gives us food also it teaches us the patience you want something you have to wait and get it yeah they would they cannot move any time the fish comes no when it catches the hook they have to pull it the fish also will try to pull it down you have to pull it up okay so now they are waiting 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 and there were you know two small fish like they can smell ah nice smell i can smell a worm can i come to eat so they both are like they are coming like that they are coming to catch what will happen if they come and start eating the earthworm they will get caught in the hook no so now there is one frog sitting there i mean swimming there the frog sees oh my god this little fish is going to get caught so it comes fast 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 hey 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 wait 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 what are you going to do the fish is telling we are going to eat the earthworm it's very yummy you know we love eating earthworm but the frog says no 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 don't go nobody will simply give you some food to eat they have some bigger agenda if you go and eat you will get caught in the hook and they will catch you and you will die and they will eat Oh my god thank you frog bhaiya for saving us the fish told the frog said yes that is one thing and one more thing you i tell you you know what it told you just look around in the pond last few years before we were all living very happily in the pond fish is there like you said shark was there and then if it is a big pond or lake only big big fish will be there in a ocean there is a shark will be there if it is small pond like that many types of fish will be there we were all living happily now here now you look around what is there 
the little fish were looking around. Children, what do you think they found? There were a lot of plastic bottles. Ah, there were a lot of plastic bottles. Super, Banisha. Not only that, what we do? Covers. Plastic cover. Yes, Fieri. The plastic covers were empty. What do you think? They are in trash. They are with trash. So many plastic covers, dump, I mean, filled with trash, and so many plastic bottles, plastic covers, and sometimes the food which we did not eat. So the leftover food, everything was tied into a plastic cover and thrown into the sea. So if so much of plastic waste is there, what will happen in the pond? What will happen? It will pollute. pollute. It will pollute this water body and so much of all this junk will collect together. They will become like a mountain and they will block the pond. The pond is like full of half filled with kachara. And can the fish have place to swim? No. If the fish don't have place to swim, what will they do? They will die. Right. Sometimes the food inside the plastic covers, it attracts. Because they also have to eat, no? They come and try to eat. What do they do? They don't know the difference between plastic cover and food. They swallow the plastic covers and that get inside their stomach and they will die. 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 Yes, if all the fish in the pond dies, the water will start stinking. Yeah, the water will seep into the earth and soil will become bad. The soil becomes bad the food crops become poisonous and we eat that food crops, what will happen to us? We'll become sick. Sick. And then die. die. So now frog said, we have to, okay, we are ready. Okay, like we eat worms, human beings eat fish. No problem. But if they eat us and they keep on dumping and wasting, abusing our living area, we have to teach a lesson, no? So he said, yeah, yeah, we have to teach a lesson. You are right. I don't have place to run around and swim around in the pond. The little fish were telling. What do you think, children, they planned? What could have been the idea? Can you think if you were fish or if you are frog, what will be the idea you give for the human beings to teach a lesson? Yes, we are. Tell. When they, when they try to, mm. when the people try to take it from the rod, they will, many fish, fishes will gather them, mm. try to bite, bite the people. Try to bite the people, but when they come out to bite the people, we are more stronger, no? We will catch. You think like that. I'll give you that. One clue I'll give. What is inside the fishing rod? Ka? What is that worm is inside with a hook? Hook is to carry something. Hook can pull things. Plastic bag on the hook. Ah, super. He got it. Yeah? What, what will they do? Sriyari, if you are a frog, what is the idea you want to give? Like hook the plastic bags onto the hook. Yes. How nice, no? So the plastic hooks are there. The frog said, we will do one thing, okay? All these plastic bags with kachada are floating, no? In our pond, we'll just go bring them. The plastic covers, we'll just hook it. Okay? We'll just put it in the hook. They will think, no, because they can't see inside the water, no. They think there is some weight. So, it must be fish. 
big fish we got today. So they'll start pulling. And when they start pulling, what will go up from the pond? It is the kachada plastic bag. When it comes out from water, it will be like even more. <laughs> Correct? And that is what. Yay! That's a nice idea. Very good. We should teach a lesson to them. These people, human beings, they go to school and they study, but they don't learn anything useful. So they did. They just swam happily. And first they brought one small plastic cover and they put it in the hook. And this Arun and Madhi thought, we caught fish so fast. Pull it, pull it, pull it. When they pulled out, what came? Trash bags. Bags. Trash bags. So they got uh, uh, like that. He started vomiting. And that he just took it and he just threw it behind. And then, okay, maybe some plastic cover caught by on its own. The waves will be there, no, in the pond. So next time also we'll do. They take one more earthworm and that they hooked it and that they put it again. Now what came? Trash. What? Yes, little bigger trash bag was there. And they pulled it and pulled it and pulled it and they got one more trash bag. And then one more, one more, one more like that. Every time they put the rod, they got only trash bag. Yes. And now they were thinking, how can this happen? Then they were sitting and thinking, are we? Now earthworms are also getting over. They don't get some 50 earthworms, no. One or two earthworms, they will, they'll just cut it into pieces and one small piece only. Yeah, one trillion more trash bags are there in the sea and the water body and the pond, any water body. And now they said, no, 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 no. This is not going to end here. I don't know whether the fish has become smarter or we have thrown so much of kachada into the pond. Only we are getting the trash. What we gave them, they are giving it back. Now they both realized that it is not only the others. Like we cannot keep thinking. Others will do the cleaning job. We also have to do it. And they started picking up. They just looked around. All the trash which came from water, they kept on throwing. No. So they all picked it up. It's okay. Bad smell like they can't touch it. It's so soggy. Kola, 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 kola like that. Slimy, sla, soggy. Very bad smelling. But still, they just tied a mask and they ran home and they brought some gloves and they picked the kachada and put it in the proper bins. And they decided not only every day or every time we get a holiday, we will spend at least one or two hours per week to take this campaign. We'll say Save Earth campaign. We will do also we will not use unnecessarily the plastic covers and all things. Also, we should be careful in putting the correct waste in the correct bins provided by the governments. So they started cleaning the area. And looking at them, people who were walking, no, they also came and asked, what are you doing? Then they said, see how much kachada we dump. We just casually throw it and spoil Whatever we do, these actions bring the reaction to us only. So please help us. So that day onwards, everybody in their area started cleaning their space very well. They did a good waste management. They learned new, new techniques by reading books and attending seminars. And they, their area, if you go now, no, it is very, very, very clean. The pond has also become clean. The fish and the frogs and all the water organisms, they started living happily. So now Madhu and Arun, they go to the pond for fishing. What do they get now? The real fish. Oh. Fish. The kachadas don't come out because 
they don't throw and dump the kachada in the water. Is this a nice story? Yes, ma. Yes. So, vittai sayyum, nattai. I'll show you. I think it's coming ulta. Okay. Can you see now? So, we all thank. Who has written this beautiful story? Ah, can we all thank him? I'll say three, two, one. You will say thank you, Raja Mama. Okay, shall we? Three, two, one. Thank, thank you, you, Raja Mama. Ah, for writing such beautiful stories. Yeah? Good. Yeah. So now what? Now, why I, I read the other was letter, no? You know, children, it is so nice feeling to receive that letter. Yes? Afiza, you can also write a letter to us. Inland okay. letter, poi. Or poi, amma oda poi. You go and buy a letter. Inland, inland letter, la, sorry, postcard, vangi. I will give you the address. You write a letter to us. Okay? You write. Whatever you write is right. Then I will reply to you also. Okay, Afiza. You know my okay. number, no? So you just say one okay. hi. I think you are in the group, no? Ask your Amma. Are you yes, people in the group? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ah, you are in the group. Okay, my address is there. Jainti auntie's address is there. So from that, you can take it and you can write a postcard to us. Okay, I will send you. Okay, super. Anusha is here nearby. We'll just go and say hi and meet. Auntie. Okay, you are welcome to tell story. Kunjo set nalakandriya. Kunjo I have to see your ah like that. Okay. Superb, superb. So Tamil Lea, English Lea. What language? Tamil. Tamil. Okay. So, after Adarva says, I will translate for Anusha. Okay. So, now our little master Adarva from Udumalapete, Tamil Nadu is going to share a story in Tamil. Ready, Adarva? Mm. Mm. Okay. I married two years, eh? Mm. The third year, when there, Rumba Perry tested. Hundred poop put in a ten kai dog. Oh, you, you. A pawn a good dark and non packer again. Hm. Yamatama. Hm. Yamatama by Solama. Hm. A pro? Oh, lovely. So, you are good good man. So, you are a Wow. Super. Wow, super, super. Yar soli kutang in the kadaya. Amma. Amma arme arme. Enga padsang la in the kadaya. Own story. Oh, Amma own story is the wang la. A ding appa. Arme arke. Appa she can write a story, some patta story is the sole. She can also publish a book. Okay. Super ma. Very good, very good. So, shall I translate the story into English uh, for Anusha? I Anusha. Tell me. Yes, one second. Tell me. 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 Tell
நம்ம வந்து மற்றெல்லாம் தொழுதுண்டு பின் செல்பவர் நீங்களும் நாட்டி பாருங்க வீட்டுல புடுந்து நாட்டலாம் ஓகே அனுஷாட்டோ <laughs> and the god wanted to test him so because people will do mistakes and will not be honest when they are having trouble so wanted to test so first day first season out of 100 seeds only 50 grew 50 only plants only grew he got cucumber so the 50 did not grow at all the next year He, it was like how many grew adarva it was only 50. 50 first year 50 second year 50 50 so second year also 50 third year 10 10 only 10 grew 90 spoiled so if the 90 has gone okay he can't get money no by selling in the market so but even though only he got very less money he preferred and he stood by his honesty he did not make any blunders mistakes he did not cheat anybody so god was very happy and then next year 100 seeds he planted it grew like all the 100 plants grew and he got a very very nice crop so whatever we do whatever we earn money we can't eat money no we can eat only the crops the food so there is the tiruvalluvar ka tirukural is there uludundu vaalvare vaalvar matrellam tholudundu pin selbavar the farmers are the most important people in the earth so we all whatever we study in i mean engineering doctor scientist lawyer or whatever it is the first and foremost uh very very holy or good profession or job is farmers agriculture is the the most important industry so like that that's a beautiful story thank you thank you adarva you know who wrote the story adarva's mother her name is apurva correct no abinaya ah oh, sorry abinaya sorry sir abinaya nammalu mm. அடுத்தி <laughs> Afisa is also joining from Urmal Pet, no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So, little Afisa is going to tell a story. Tamil or English? Tamil. Tamil. Okay. Super. Good. Start. One day, one day. One day, one day. அதுக்கப்புறம் <laughs> 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 
ஒரு <laughs> So there is a song by Aruna Sairam. She says... When did Anusha said this story? What happened, Kanne? Acha, Anusha told the story. When? 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 Acha, when will Anusha tell the story? No. Hmm. When did Anusha tell the story? When? I am not getting your question, Vyan. Aruna Sairam. Singer, singer. When did she tell the story? When did she tell the story? Aruna I Sairam. I never told the story. He didn't, she didn't tell the story for a long time. She will tell. She reads big, big books also. So that mm-hmm. song, okay. One second, I'll just search in the YouTube if I can play that song. Hold on for a minute, okay? Okay. I think I got it. One second. We'll just play for some time. And then. And then. Children, can you hear? Yes. Okay. Maadu mekum kanne ni poga vendam sonnen. Kachinna paalam tarem 
just just be there okay well, is it nice children one more one more i'll play listen be one second with the... one second <laughs> so you know the song your mom tells no if you want to go want to play go out and play she'll say no day adarva pohada afiza be at home it's so hot outside you play inside okay i'll give you chocolates i'll make murku for you i'll give you this i'll make chicken biryani i'll make fish fry like that no so yashoda is also telling krishna don't go out and play i will give you nice hot hot i mean warm milk i will give you boiled milk i will give you sugar i will give you this that uh, sugar candy is there no kalkand that one i'll give you and krishna loves butter he used to eat lot of butter so i'll give you that uh, butter also it's so hot outside do not go and play but did krishna listen like you children what will you do you will take everything and you will eat everything up top 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 fast fast and when mother is inside cooking or sleeping or doing work you will run away no to play so krishna was also naughty like you all that's a beautiful story youtube there are so many videos sometimes with pictures also you just type the song maadu meikum kanne okay krishna was a was yeah he was re they were rearing cows also no he was a like a shepherd right so you try that song those who can understand tamil you just see the tamil songs those who can understand english there must be lyrics in english also okay that's beautiful so the story session is being i mean coming to an end with beautiful stories by adarva and afiza afiza that story very beautifully told that you told about that song no next time and the song ni kattukitte those first few lines okay kattukitte you should come and sing also okay, okay. first two three lines super very nice good so next time shri vidya is also going to tell a story so next week we will start with Shri Vidya's story in Tamil and Afisa's Maadu meikum kanne ni poga vendam sonnen song. She is going to sing a few lines and then Jainthi aunty will share the story. Is that okay? Very nice. Wonderful auntie. session. Hmm. Chollu kanne. Jainthi aunty engi aunty. Da engi da arkraanga. Kuputtu mana ne. One second, eh? I'll just go and give. But by the time I'll stop the recording, I'll call Jainthi Auntie. She'll come and speak to you. One second.